Hello and welcome back to my channel. You know a group knows what's up when they release an MV for a B-side and that is what Enhyphen has done here with Fever. A lot of you guys have requested this and I am happy to oblige because Drunk Days is kind of a bop. I, I really liked it when I first reacted to it and it's just grown on me more and more and more as I listen to it. Everything about this group's style, the way that they dance, like they're... They really are, I think, going to be, uh, as again, I always say, the younger male groups are difficult for me to get into, but this is one that I haven't struggled with at all, and I think as they age, they're going to even become more and more of my cup of tea. So let's check it out. This is Fever by Enhyphen. We're also going to dive into the dance practice afterwards because I have noticed in reacting to their MVs that the boys can dance. That's kind of just the case when it comes from these whatever you want to say, Big Hit, High B, what, what have you. But TXT also is a group that really, really surprises me in how great their choreography is. And not only that, but like how unique and inventive it is. So we're going to also check out the dance practice after the MV. Let's go Fever and Hyphen. We have captions on? Yeah, we do. The start of this, the tone, that single piano, it, this is reminding me of something. Holy shit, this is a beautiful intro. right now he's straight man on the left dude is straight dressed up like the beast from fucking <laughs> beauty and the beast <laughs> like that is the outfit <laughs> and is this supposed to be like a visualization of them trying to escape their their curse the boys the boys be biting necks they're vampires Any, any lip readers? What is he saying there? That was an awesome intro. Uh, give me fever. Oh, got to noon. Be breaking me in two. Oh. This is more like R&B. Wait a second. Oh, that match cut was amazing. Is this is this some Twilight type shit? I want you, but I can't because I'm a vampire. The more you know, I just I just hurt people kind of thing. He's sparkling, it could be. Yo, chill, you guys are young. Mm, this backing, like, atmospheric sound, I, I don't even know what to describe it. I've heard it in plenty of songs before, but it is kind of just like this hazy, atmospheric, echoed sound in the background, and I, I just love that. I love that in everything that I hear. First, like low key and hyphen song I've really heard, and it's shot so well. I love this MV. Mm. 
Oh man, they're not they're not skimping on the budget with this. Like, this is impressive for an MV released on a B side. I love that infrared view. We got a little bit of it before, but this infrared view is so cool. It even makes sense saying my, my body's burning up because of you or for you. And here we we see his hands are hot as hell because of you. Does his heart thirst or does his stomach thirst? Mm. Oh, funky bass here. The staging for all of this was so cool. We have to, oh, there's no like outro. Come on, you're gonna have such an artistic, like cool intro. You're not gonna do a little outro for me. But this MV was impressive, man. The I, I love the sets, the shots were so damn cool. The match cuts in the beginning were really awesome. I really like this, uh, this like big main scene here. It reminds me of Twice's I Can't Stop Me. Remind, just the perspective of it reminds me of like the, the subway station that they're in. But really colorful in some parts here. Just really cool. They're a group that has a concept that I completely have fallen in love with, but I don't know anything about it. So please let me know how this fits into the like grander scope of their music, because uh, I got no idea. But we didn't really get to see much, if any, choreo in that. So let's check out the dance practice. Let's go. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen an hyphen uh, dance practice before. <laughs> The form with him out back like that, like he's on a cross. Whoa, that was one sick get up there. Whoa, synchronization on point. One of my favorite things too is when you have members crisscrossing or flowing in from the main formation in the middle and whoever's doing their part will like crisscross seamlessly between them. Like they, they do it so well here. <laughs> Shit, man, their movements are so sharp. Mm. Oh, and I even love there how they, they're like rolling their fingers up their wrists, up their forearm, and then straight to the neck. Wow. It's like the fever they're talking about is infecting them all throughout their body. And then that that head roll. Mm. God, their the sounds of their feet against the dance floor here. Wow. Here's some freaking theatrical payment looking action here from him. Woo. These younger groups are wild when it comes to the choreography. Mm. Again, for like a slower R&B song too, you're expecting 
not like the most elaborate crazy choreography and this is by no means like crazy or insane but it just fits so well like it's perfectly executed for the type of song it is being both impressive fluid only making the song even better when you're viewing the, the dance and their formations too like that opening formation was so unique and they're returning to it oh my god they're kind of all going into that same pose nobody's missing a, a, a position And again, I don't even know any of these dudes' names. They're all looking like main dancers, though. Oh. I've yet, I've yet to see something from an hyphen that I did not like. So what, what else was I expecting other than a solid, solid song? So of course, not only is their title track off of this album amazing, but the B-side also really, really solid in Fever. Um, different vibe, way different vibe too from Drunk Dazed. Um, let me know what your favorite song off of this album is because I have yet to check it out. It has what? Uh, Drunk Dazed, Fever, The Invitation. The Invitation is an intro. Was any part of that maybe what we heard from the beginning of the MV of, of Fever? possibly and they have not for sale mixed up and then an outro so then maybe i have to check some of these out because even the b-sides have a lot of plays on spotify so they're definitely a group that is doing well which i'm happy about because they might not have that it's like it seems like they have the big hit like money behind a lot of stuff but not necessarily like the marketing on the same level of like a txt or anything like that and i know it's like a joint thing and, and all that stuff but i'm really happy though that they're uh that they're getting the views they're getting that kind of exposure um, because they're a very very talented young group and one of the ones that i would certainly put a bet on and at being much much bigger in one two three years as they really start to find their place in the industry because they've got the talent 100 for sure so please check out my other and hyphen reactions if you're interested down in the playlist below subscribe if you are new let me know if you'd like to see any other and hyphen content either on patreon whether it be an album reaction or live stages anything like that i love to check out like studio chooms if they've been on studio choom at all i don't know if i've reacted to them on patreon i'm not sure if i have but let me know thank you so long